There are multiple myths about Watson's cabin, and we'll check them out in this video to see if they're true. To set the events in motion, players need to visit the house and run off the donkey. Get to the cellar, grab the gun, and then threaten this charming old lady. Once she's insulted enough, she'll run for her sons and start looking for her ride. Where the hell is my donkey? And then finally flee on foot if she's motivated enough. Return the next day to see her conversing with her sons, planning a retaliation against the player. A point to note here, if she was shot the last day, a grave turns up behind the house. But the sons remain inside waiting for the player. Deal with the four morons, tie her up, and once again leave to return the next day. Now if players check the table, they'll see a wanted poster for one of the sons who was shot the last day. The first myth here is that he can be ransomed for the $500 listed on his bounty. To test this theory, we'll first need to identify which one is Ethan. The one wearing the hat is identified as Edgar on the poster, and the lady refers to the one in the striped shirt as Elijah. How many times, Elijah? This means Ethan must be one of the remaining two. I took both of them to the sheriff to confirm. Unfortunately, it's not true, and while the player doesn't get wanted for kidnapping if he's carried around, the sheriff shows no interest either. The second myth involves the dead lady. On the final visit, it is said she blinks at the player, with some even claiming she winks. If looked closely, the developers shriveled her up, changed her skin, but left her alive under the sheets where she continues to blink and twitch. She dies the moment the blanket is lifted by the player, and the normal NPC blinking and twitching was mistaken by most as a reaction to the player's presence.